Getting back to our transmission line diagram, we can imagine that as time progresses, electrons are moving in the conductors when there's current, but the signal is not carried by the electrons, which migrate very slowly down the transmission line. Instead, as time progresses, the electric and magnetic fields transport the signal power down the transmission line between the two conductors at nearly the speed of light. We'll be exploring this a lot more in this class. The type of transmission line we've been talking about is a transverse electromagnetic, or TEM, transmission line. These are transmission lines where the electric and magnetic fields are both perpendicular to each other and are also both perpendicular to the direction of propagation. This slide shows some example TEM transmission line geometries. In all of these examples, the electric and magnetic fields will be set up perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation. For example, for the microstrip line on a circuit board, the wave in the image on the right is propagating into the screen. The electric fields are pointing straight downwards and the magnetic fields are looping around the upper conductor. The electric and magnetic fields are always perpendicular to each other as they travel into the screen, down the macrostrip. We have the same thing for a coaxial cable as shown here. For the cable oriented into the screen as shown on the right, both the electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation into the screen. Now regardless of the actual configuration, geometry and so forth of the two conductors, for the TEM transmission lines, say a microstrip or coaxial cable or some other TEM transmission line, we are always going to draw them in this class on, and on paper as two parallel black lines. This is just for convenience. So let's take a step back and look at what we have. We have the wiring between the generator and the fuel tanks on an aircraft represented as long conductors, which may mean we have to treat them as a transmission line. We know the moment we close the switch, electric and magnetic fields will be generated between and around the conductors, which will travel at the nearly the speed of light down the transmission line. Now we want to come up with an equivalent circuit for the wires so that we can analyze the propagation of the signals down the wires and also determine whether we can ignore the length and the physics occurring on the wires or not.